This is Keith Industrial Group, KIG Incorporated, and this is our 5-ton air-cooled chiller, uh, brand new, just going through a quick checkout uh, power-up sequence before we ship it out. Um, first thing we do is we simply turn the power on. When that hop happens, the uh, display shows that red line right there. And then all we do is we press the on button. Now when you do press the on button there, then it shows the values that the water is currently running at and what the set value is, and here it's uh, at 5 degrees centigrade. Uh, these units run from 5 degrees to 25 degrees centigrade, um, which is basically 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, to change the set value, uh, you simply press set, and you can move it up to 25C. For this case here, we're just going to bring it uh, down to five, 5 degrees C. And then you set it, at which point it goes back to the process value, which is what the water is currently at in our shop here. We just have a, a pipe set up in the background. Uh, then all we do is we press, uh, press your pump first, and then you hear your pump turn on. We have the cover off. This is our stainless steel tank. The cover is off right now. Uh, just to show you about how the machine operates. Um, then you turn compressor on. Now there's a time delay, about two minutes built into these chillers. So it's going to take about two minutes or so, two minutes, 15 seconds for it to turn on. That's just a safety, uh, safety mechanism built right into the system. Uh, we do have various warning signals that can come up depending on overload of the compressor, overload of the pump, or what have you. Um, it is a very simple controller. We do keep spare parts for these units in stock in California, uh, including the uh, control board here, although it hasn't been a problem at all. Um, and here is our main control cabinet with our relays and contactors. Um, our high and low uh, pressure switch here. Um, our gauges, high and low pressure gauges. All the units use a Copeland compressor. In this case here, this is our five horsepower Copeland compressor. Um, our inline dryer, our expansion valve, uh, and our evaporator slash uh, heat exchanger plate, plate type. And then we have the pump running. We used, uh, we put in a water mixture and some a glycol mixture, which happened to be red, red glycol, so it looks a little bit brown there actually, just, um, again just for our runoff, um, and then we have our 33 GPM maximum pump here, everything's insulated. Up on top we have our dual, on the 5 ton unit here, our dual cooling fans. The unit does have and it does have the uh, our drain, and it has a, a fill with a threaded cap. Uh, the units don't ship when they do ship out freighted um, from the warehouse. They do not have these shutoffs on there. We put these shutoffs on in this line uh, just to uh, just to run the unit off here. So the delay just kicked in. And our compressor powered up. Both our fans are powered up. Oh, by the way, the air condensers are mounted on these units on the top. Which would be similar for 3, 5, 8, and 10 ton units. For our most popular style. So, the compressor is kicked in. And you can see that from the, the shop water was about 21 degrees C, uh, about, so about 70 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Um, and you can see the value is going down second by second as we're chilling the water in, in just our, our small test room. And that will go all the way down and then it will shut off 